Okay, in this clip I'm going to be talking about locations. Um, locations are are used to split your quantities amongst different sections uh, which your project might consist of. These could be different levels, so ground first, second, or they could be different buildings, say arcade or canteen. So you're able to assign different quantities to different locations. And this will help if you're wanting to print or to a specific section or if you're wanting to cost a certain section. So it's just quite a good habit to get into when you are setting up your your build. Okay, so to set up locations and to edit them or change them, you select the locations menu at the top. This will take you to a new window where you'll see different locations. Yours will probably be blank. This is a, a template which is on, this, on the system and as you can see what they've done is they've split the locations firstly into different buildings or rooms and then under each room there are different sub locations which are the different floors. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new a new location once again add insert item you then need to uh, allocate a specific symbol to your location so I'm going to go with E and the description so we're going to say MDA building the multiplier this is used if you have a typical floor with the same sort of layouts so it'll take all the dimensions you allocate to that location and at all times about whatever your location multiplies. so it's quite a useful item so to continue I select save changes and as you can see there's my project to create sub locations under my MDA project I select MDA project and I create a new item. Now this will be E1, E2, I can even make it E G for ground. Is it ground floor? Again the multiplier. And I can continue. It will rank you it will usually rank it in either either al alphabetical or numerical order. So it is quite a good idea to use numbers um, just to ensure that it keeps it within that order. So I'm going to make this first floor. As you can see what it's done in this instance is put first floor before. So it's probably better to use what they've used here, zero, 01, but this was just an example. What I can also do is I can edit current my current locations by clicking on this item it will only let me edit the description and the multiplier unfortunately the only way to to change that is to delete it and create a new one and that's locations how to set them up so to get out I click here okay to use locations when you enter a quantity this you can either do by selecting your add quantity color or by double clicking on the item so I'm just going to go to the bill where I can enter quantities concrete so if I double click on this item either I can double click or I can go to my dimensions tab it's going to bring up the screen and this screen is going to ask is asking me whether I'm wanting to measure my dimensions which I'm going to be entering into in this location or if I want to change it so either I can accept or I can change. I want to change it and I want to go to the one we created which is ground floor under my MDA building and now I can start entering my quantities in. If I, once I'm finished I can select X and what I can then do is go to a different location and enter different enter more dimensions. So if I show you that again, if I go here at the top, which shows you what location I'm in, 
three dots and then it brings up my list of locations I can go to a new floor and to create a new quantity I click add into new dimensions it's going to ask me if I want to stay there I say yes and I can proceed okay to get out of here I click X and back to browse and as you can see it has taken the quantities from those two locations and added them together so that's how you make use of locations it, it will be exactly the same if you're entering quantities into my BOE or my measurement group so that is how it is done